So what exactly makes a great scorer in the NBA and what makes the best player in certain positions? Is it a refined skill set, the ability to score in isolation, or is it the knack to take over late games with ease? When you look around the league at the best two guards, it's a pretty tight conversation as to who's the best at the moment. And depending on the play style that you like, it could go many ways. Do you want a guy who's the underdog for a long time before winning a championship and a finals MVP in Jalen Brown? Do you want a quiet assassin who's been as smooth as butter in Devin Booker? An electrifying shot creator in Donovan Mitchell who can create any shot on the floor at any given time? Or do you want the most entertaining young phenom in the NBA today in Anthony Edwards? Trust me, it's a tough choice, I know. So that's why today's battle is just going to be first between Devin Booker and Anthony Edwards. Despite their different approaches, both players bring an elite offensive package to the table, but what is it that makes them so different and how do they use their skills to gain the advantage on the defense? Well first, we must talk about what sets these two apart at the core level of scoring. For Devin Booker, it's all about precision, timing, and versatility. He's a player who can score efficiently at all three levels and understands how to pick the defense apart in the simplest way possible. In contrast, Anthony Edwards relies on his athletic nature and physical dominance, attacking defenses downhill with relentless aggression, making every opponent scared of him on any given night when he starts to slash to the basket. Such electrifying scores, but who arsenal will you take? When focusing on the technique of D-Book, you'll notice his masterful use of space and balance, which allows him to get into any shot he desires. As he comes off this high pick and roll versus the Mavericks here, Booker snakes into Exum's body to get him on his hip, and I want you to look at how Booker keeps everything nice and confined while rising straight up, making it tough for the defense to even bother the shot. From the mid-range in the 2024 season, Booker connected on 48% of his 378 shots from this area, which would rank him at third for the highest percentage amongst all players who shoot more than four shots from the mid-range per game. This proficiency gives you a player who you can call on to go get a bucket, and if you're playing the numbers game, you certainly love this option. I know a lot of people will say the midi isn't the best shot, but when you can knock it down at a high rate while having many ways to get to your spots, it honestly becomes unguardable. All it takes is for the defender to get out of place for a split second, as now D-Book can put them in a tough spot by using that bounce out to get them on his side, and by the time you can test, he's already locked and loaded. This ability to take advantage of any slip up from the defense allows him to dictate the pace at which he plays at, and not only does this help D-Book operate more effectively on the court when finding his shots, but it allows for him to create for his teammates as well. When coming off the screen from Eubanks, Booker slows it down to make sure there's strong contact, so now when coming off, if the big doesn't step up, then he can shoot the ball. But with the defense deciding to commit, well now he can just lob it up right over the top. This right here is just a slight dive into his game before we discuss it deeper, as when we shift over to the profile of Anthony Edwards, he prefers to play with more swag, more of a relentless approach, and all in all is just must-see TV. His physical tools allow him to have his way with the defense, and with that handle getting tighter along with the footwork, he's truly become a nightmare matchup on any given night. Say your big tries to stay in front of him off the pick and roll to stop the drive, well Edwards has no problem moving him out the way to then go complete the and one. That strength is something that allows him to be effective when he gets going downhill, but like I said, the footwork and the handle are honestly the key to unlocking his game. As he comes off the screen versus the Lakers, you can see that Edwards catches it in a tight space, but he's still able to serve that in and out to Shiv Jackson and then use those short choppy steps to go back the other way, leaving Hayes vulnerable to this low carry swipe, and now it's at and one off the window. Step through, off blast, bucket in the five. In the 2024 season, Edwards converted 53% of his seven field goal attempts off the drive, which not only further shows how well he can attack the basket, but it ranks him amongst the top slashers in the NBA. When you tune into a game, you can see just how much pressure Ant puts on the defense by using highly explosive moves to beat him to the rack, smooth euros to avoid the contact, and most of all, these powerful slams that take the life out the defense. Both Devin Booker and Anthony Edwards approach the game in different ways, and it's truly the small things within their game that make them both great, but at the same time, drastically different. Devin Booker's game often gets compared to the style of Kobe Bryant's, and no, that's not me saying that he's another Kobe or anything like that, so don't get carried away but the way he gets to his spots is more calculated and focused. When receiving it in transition here, Booker understands he has Aiden and Sharp ready to cut him off, so going to the rim wouldn't be the smartest idea. Also, if you direct your attention to behind him, his defender is sneaking up right on him to recover. So Booker stops on a dime and then stays patient feeding that up fake to get his man on a trampoline and then spins all the way back around for the bucket. You can see that Booker is very aware of everything going on around him and he's never sped up when getting to where he wants. Most people in this position would try and rush the shot as they only have 6 seconds left on the clock, but Booker stays calm, cool, and collected while getting right into his jumper as the defense watches the ball drop in. 
For an interesting stat, Devin Booker had an effective field goal percentage of 51.2% on all tightly contested shots, just further showing you his focus regardless of the defense. It honestly doesn't take a whole lot of room to get his shot off, simply just enough room for him to rise up, and it doesn't matter how tight the defense thinks they are, it's like D-Book has blinders. But when you shift over to Ant, it's not necessarily about being blind to the defense, as it's more about being an elusive sports car in a world full of bad drivers. One car might not use the blinker, so you have to swerve out the way to avoid the collision, and with great frame and traction control, Edwards can coast off into the sunset. This playstyle here doesn't produce the same level of patience or methodicalness, but this one allows you to have multiple different moves to throw out the defense off pure reaction, which makes you much craftier and a versatile creator. It doesn't matter if the defense takes away the first angle to attack, as Edwards can change directions in the blink of an eye, and then knowing he has a big waiting on him at the rim, he switches directions once more again with that clean Euro to roll this in. Yeah, I know, just nasty. The pace and direction changes catch the defense off guard a lot of the time, and if he chooses to, Edwards can hit that turbo button and not look back. Key example, when going at Hayes here, Ant burst out that crossover getting past Hayes in a flash, and then to add some flair to it, he goes up and under with the English off the glass. With him having a skill to sink the defense at any time he wants, it opens up these angles to find his teammates, and although this is an area where Ant needs to work on, it holds a big significance for him to unlock in his game, which will ascend him to the next level. Now, does this mean Edwards can only drop the ball and Devin Booker can only shoot the midi? Nah, not at all. Because when you're a top level guard, you simply can't just be one dimensional as that's the quickest way to get shut down. The main spots of their game happen to be the drive and the mid range creation, but when you dive deeper, this is when you really get to see how skilled they truly are. Devin Booker is able to showcase that he can put the ball in the deck and attack the rim in many ways while also spacing the floor with his pinpoint deep shooting. And Anthony Edwards, on the other hand, can pull out that blender to make smoothies all over the court, and when he wants to set up shop, he can load the sniper and make it count. This dive into their games doesn't just stop here, as I broke down both of their games in major detail, but the question today is, which one will you be taking in the battle of the guards? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you're first to know when I upload. I thank you all for your support, and I'll see you in the next video.